For recipe notifications, do not forget to subscribe to Get Curried and click on the bell icon. Paneer Bhurji is a dish that you don't mind eating for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Well, generally we end up using a lot of ingredients to flavor something like paneer. But trust me, today I'm using just 5 ingredients and making something which is quick, easy, simple and trust me, flavorful. Hey guys, it's Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Curried. The first thing that I'm doing is heating some oil. In this case, I'm using garlic oil. Well, this is an oil that you can absolutely very easily make at home. What you need to do is take some vegetable oil, heat it on low flame, leave in some pods of garlic or some cloves of garlic. Let that infuse in the oil, let it cool down. And then what you have is a gorgeously scented and infused garlic oil. Well, while that's heating up, what I'm doing is chopping a red onion. The onions are chopped and ready. The next ingredient are some sweet peppers. While well, I'm using some colorful ones so that the burji becomes nice and colorful. But while you can use any color, you can stick to just the green one, just the red one, just the yellow one. That's a personal choice. The sweet peppers are cut and ready. And if you notice, the oil is also heated up. So let's transfer the onions in first in garlic oil. Well, similarly, the way I've made garlic oil, you can also make ginger oil, you can make onion oil, you can make red chili oil, green chili oil. You know, it's always important to have these flavored oils in your kitchen pantry so that you can start flavoring food differently. Once the onions turn translucent in color, the next thing that goes in, or the next ingredient that goes in rather, are the sweet peppers or capsicum. Let's transfer all of these. Allow these to cook on high flame. You need to toss this on high flame, ensuring that the capsicum or the peppers still maintain a little bit of a crunch and a bite because the paneer is going to be nice, soft and crumbly. Give that a stir. And I think that's perfectly done. The next ingredient, and this one is going to be all power, is going to be the real flavor of the paneer bhurji and that is pav bhaji masala. Now for the uninitiated, pav bhaji masala is nothing but a mixture of red chili powder, haldi which is turmeric, garam masala and amchur. Now if you think logically, these are the same ingredients that otherwise you would also end up adding but separately. What I am doing here is using one compact compound masala like a pav bhaji masala and making paneer bhurji. Allow this masala to cook on high flame till kind of all the raw flavor goes away. And last and final comes the star of this recipe and that is cottage cheese or paneer. What I'm doing is not chopping this or not cutting these into pieces, but in fact crumbling this like so. For a recipe like paneer bhurji, make sure you do not use something like a malai paneer because it's going to get absolutely pasty instead of having those crumbled shards. Give this a nice mix, give it a nice stir. And finally, last but not the least, for some flavor, salt. One final stir and your paneer bhurji is done and ready. Well, with this, paneer bhurji is done and ready. While you can have this just like that with fulka, spice up your imagination, sandwich this up, convert this into a roll, or add in some leftover rice and convert this into a bhurji fried rice. Well, on that note, this is Varnadamdar signing off. Do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to get curried.